Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Talks with AK. I'm Ankit Kumar. And finally, we are on our final method, the search method of linked list. So let's do it now. Let's start by writing out a method on our linked list called search. So we will say linked list dot prototype dot search equals a function. And that will take in some search value. So we will say search value. Great. Now the purpose of this method will be to take in a given piece of data, which will be our search value here, this one. It can be any value or any data that we want to be. And we want to see if that piece of data, this data resides in our linked list or not. If the data does not reside in our linked list, then we want to return null from this function. If it does reside in our linked list, then we want to return that value back out. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create a variable called current node. So we say current node. And as we travel through our linked list, the value of this current node will change. And that makes sense, right? We are going to start on one node, which will be current node. Let's say first node is current node. Then we will move to next node, which will be second node. Then second node will become current node. Then we will move out to the next node and so on. So this current node variable is pretty important here. So we need to start moving through our link list from some point. Where should we start? Well, we basically have two options. We could start at the head node or we could start at the tail node. In our case, let's start at the head node for our method. So we will initially set current node equals to this dot head, just the starting point. Now we are going to want to travel through our link list from node to node. Well, how we are going to do that? We are going to use a while loop, which looks like this. We write while, then parenthesis, and then a code block. If you are not familiar with while loops, that's not a problem. They are pretty simple. Basically, inside these parentheses, we will pass true or false value or expression that evaluates true or false. While value in the parentheses is true, it will continually run this piece of code, whatever we write here, over and over again until this value becomes false, what we pass here in this parenthesis. So let's take an example. Let's say we have variable counter equals to zero. Then inside this parenthesis, we say while the counter is less than 10, so we say counter less than 10 run whatever is there in this code block and inside of this block of code all we are going to do is console log out the counter so we will write console dot log counter and after we log out the counter we are going to want to increase the value of the counter by one so we will say counter plus plus Okay, so now if we run this search method, we would expect this code block to run 10 times, this code block to run 10 times, and then stop because once the counter becomes more than 10, or it will fail this condition, then it will stop running this piece of code. So if we run this function, we would expect to see numbers from 0 through 9 logged out on the screen here. Let's see if that happens. To run this function, let's make a linked list. So we will say where my linked list equals to new linked list. And then we will just invoke my search method. Let's now run this code. So we are expecting 0 to 9 value on the screen here. So when I run this, it returns 0 to 9 values. We get exactly what we expected. 
so that is how a while loop works okay let's get rid of this now and this also and this counter and this condition now back to our real search function so what we are going to do is to say while there is a current node we want to do something here on line 63 to check the value of the current node in here and then we want to move to the next node so at the bottom here we will say current node equals to current node dot next so basically this is how our while loop will function it will take a current node as long as the node is not null or undefined if we get all the way to the tail node of our linked list then next node of current node will be null and this value will become null and null evaluates to false so if this is false we will break out to the loop and return null down here and our function will be done okay good now how we are going to check if our search value is actually in the list or not well this part is actually pretty easy and it will take only one line of code so we will say if current node dot value equals to search value then return current node dot value format it better believe it or not that's it that is our search method it's not too bad right this looks pretty good and it should work for us okay so we have our search method function all set up let's see if it works or not the first thing that we will do is to create a linked list and put some variables node into it so we will say where my ll equals to linked list now let's add some nodes to our linked list with different values let's do couple of add to help method so i'll say my ll dot add to head let me copy paste this to add few values and i will say my ll dot add to tail let me copy paste also this to add few values and now let's pass different values to these methods so let's pass 70 then let's pass a string hello let's pass one two three then let's pass world and then let's pass 20 then let's pass 19 so we have our linked list now and it has values 70 hello 123 world 19 and 20 in it so now let's invoke our search method on my linked list so i say my linked list dot search and pass some search value here that we want to search so let's try to search 70 which is already here in our linked list so when we run this piece of code it should return 70 as a result so when i run it it should return 70 great we got 70 as just we expected so let's try to search some other value let's search hello so when we run this piece of code again it should print hello here great it returns hello now let's try to search something which is not in our linked list for example let's say value 10 10 is not in our linked list so it should return null so i'm running it great it returned null because 10 is not in our linked list so look like our search method is working perfectly and that's all for this video guys in next video we will be going through the big o notation and calculating runtime of a function using javascript please stay tuned and if you like this video please press thumbs up 
share with your friends who might find it useful for them as well and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about more technical interesting videos from tech talks with ak thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.